In our final head to head press conference for Saturday's event that will take place at Wembley, which will feature uh, some of the best fighters in the world of boxing and will be headlined by the WBO Light Heavyweight Championship of the World between Nathan Cleverley, the undefeated champion, against Robin Krasnicki of Munich, Germany, who uh, has a record of 39 or 2, and he is his mandatory challenger. Also, here we've got a WBO. European Lightweight Championship, Liam Walsh versus Scott Harrison, uh, former two-time two -time world champion Scott, uh, on the comeback trail against uh, one of the hottest young fighters in the country. Then we've got the Super Flyweight Championship of the Commonwealth featuring Yaki Karim, who is the champion from Lagos in Nigeria, who is uh, fighting against the undefeated Paul Butler and British champion, who is from Elgin near Paul, uh, up in the northern part of this country. We've also got on the uh, card a uh, 10 minute, 3, a 10 3 minute round con international heavyweight contest featuring uh, former British and Commonwealth champion Derek Chisora against Hector Alfredo Avilia. And we have a, an undercard which features another 10 fights. There are 10, sorry, 14 fights on this card. Um, and I'd like to uh, welcome and thank uh, all the live Boxing Nation, Box Nation stream. Uh, viewers who are on the website, welcome to today's press conference and to the members of the press and all those who are watching the stream on foxnation.tv.com. Uh, our sponsors, or part of our sponsors, Betfred, uh, we'd like to thank them for, the, uh, for sponsoring the event. Betfred have provided all the members of the press with a free £10 bet on Saturday's show, details of which you'll find in the press pack. And we'd also like to thank our main sponsor, Raynham Steel the official partner of Box Nation, as well as Nuts Magazine and Events and Ticket Agency. Um, just before we get on to this press conference, in the next couple of weeks we've got a fabulous lineup on Box Nation, some of the best fights from around the world. Obviously the Saturday show, which uh, will then be followed by later, or the early hours of the morning, the uh, Alvarez and Trout fight from the United States. Then we've got Amir Khan next week, uh, having his first fight for two years in the UK against Diaz, and then from Argentina, in the early hours of the morning, we've got Martinez against Bruce, Mark Martin Murray, and then the following week, the biggie, uh, the most, uh, I think he's the number one earning athlete in, on the Forbes um, rich list last year, and that's uh, Floyd Mayweather. So it's a good lineup in the next few weeks, and it's all live and exclusive on Box Nation. So if you want to subscribe, subscribe early, uh, otherwise you'll miss out. Anyway, getting back to today, we've got here all the guys are on the bill. Uh, I'm going to introduce everybody from the left. Uh, we've got front, front row Dirk Dzemski, the trainer of uh, Robin. Uh, then we've got Scott Harrison's father, um, Peter, who is uh, here. Then next to him is Scott, former world champ, two world champion. Vince Cleverley, uh, who trains his son, who sits to my right, champion uh, Nathan. Then we've got Don Charles, who's the trainer of. Uh, of Derek, then we've got Graham Everett, the trainer of um, Liam Walsh, and then we've got Anthony Farnell on the trains, and looks after Paul Butler. On the table here, we've got to my left, Ulf Steinfeld, promoter of Robin Krasnicki. Next to him, Christoph Howerkamp, who's the interpreter. Then we've got Robin, mandatory challenger himself. Nathan to my right, Derek Chisora. Then we have Paul Butler, the British champion, and Liam Walsh. Come on, champion. So these are the guys that are all here. We've got a fabulous show lined up at Wembley. Tickets have gone really well, it's going to be an exciting night. Boxing commences at 4 o'clock in the afternoon to accommodate the 14 fight, so it's a real long... <coughs> if you like boxing, it's the place to be. It's a boxing festival. You can see some great fights on there. In my as I say, some of the best fighters in this country. All the guys are here. If you've got questions to ask, please feel free to do so. Thank you. Could you use the microphone, please? <coughs> Just raise your hands if you ask a question. <coughs> Hi, Mike Woods from Epic Sports. Thanks for uh, letting us come. Frank and all the fighters wishing you a good fight. First question is for Nathan. Nathan, what sort of fight are we going to see on Saturday? How are you going to handle Robin Krasnicki? Um, I believe on, on Saturday night this, this is going to be a good fight. Uh, myself, uh, undefeated fighter, uh, who comes to fight. I love the fight. 
and, and Robert Krasniki, who's, who's quite an assertive fighter um, on the front foot, who, who likes to fight. So I believe this is going to be a real good, good fight. Two, two fighters who, who re, you know, don't like to take a back foot. So I'm prepared for that. Um, I'm ready for war, you know, and this is going to be a good fight. Just to let you know, Apex, Apex are broadcasting fight life back in the United States. And we're very grateful that they're involved with us in broadcasting the fight. Are there any other questions? Yes, this is Jamil McLean with Epic Sports. Uh, my question is for Robin Krasnicki. How do you feel coming off uh, being the challenger with the 37 fight, 38 fight winning streak? Uh, do you feel like the underdog that uh, they all have you as? Do, does he feel like the underdog that they have him listed as? <laughs> Also erstmal hallo zusammen. Das first hello to everybody. Ich bin hier gekommen, um zu kämpfen und keinen Urlaub zu machen. Ich weiß, das ist nicht mein Zuhause, aber ich bin hier gekommen, um zu gewinnen. He is not coming here to London to do something like holidays. He is coming uh, here to London to win this title. Ich will, dass London eigentlich eine Erinnerung in mein Leben bleibt und dass ich dann London wieder besuche, dass ich hier mal Urlaub machen kann. First, you will set, um, see in the future that London will be a big step in his career and maybe come back in a kind of holiday and always will London be a big, big, huge moment in his life. Und wenn ich wieder hier bin, würde ich sagen, am 20.04. habe ich hier meinen Krieg gewonnen. Es war ein Schlacht, aber den habe ich gewonnen. Und wenn er zurückkommt, wird er sagen, der 20. April wird sein Tag sein, und er hat diesen Krieg gewonnen, diesen Kampf. Ich habe Respekt natürlich für meinen Gegner, er ist stark, er ist der Weltmeister. Aber jetzt ist es Zeit gekommen, dass ich Weltmeister werde. Ich habe hart trainiert, ich bin top fit wie noch nie und ich werde mein Bestes geben. Also ich will nach Deutschland als Sieger fliegen. Uh, he has a lot of respect for Nathan and he is the world champion. On one hand, on the other hand, he will fulfill his dream. He want to be here. Or he's coming here to get this title and he will fly back to Germany with the belt. At the title. The belt title. <laughs> Ja, eigentlich habe vieles zu sagen, aber ich muss ja nicht viel erzählen und viel sagen. Ich bin froh, dass ich da bin und das Rest werde ich eigentlich am Samstag in meiner Sprache zeigen. Uh, he has a lot of things to tell and to explain and there's a little history in this fight, a long history for example, but he in his own language will show um, uh, what he has to say in the ring on Saturday. Ich war oft eigentlich so unterschätzt von denen, die haben mich als, also nicht so als Gegner genommen, aber im Endeffekt sind dreimal auf dem Weg weggelaufen. Um, you feel it all time, especially for the three times postponement, there's a little bit, not a little bit, as an underestimate uh, opponent. And uh, yeah, it looks like that they, they, they always they are, don't want this fight. Aber ich freue mich sehr, dass ich hier bin und endlich, dass diese Zeit gekommen wo er vor mir steht. I'm happy to be here and it's really, really pleasure that this fight is now in front and no one can escape. I, I just like to say, we wanted this fight, that's why we won the first one. That's why we're here. I'm Gareth A. Lewis from The Telegraph. Nathan, uh, um, can you put in perspective, just here at the back, here on the, on the right, um, can you put in perspective, uh, given that uh, Robin is your mandatory challenger, um, the, the, the importance of this fight in, at this stage in your career, and obviously uh, given what Frank's talked about, about the possibilities for you after this, later on in the year? This, this, this fight is, is massive because as, as a world champion, 
uh, you, you've got to fight these mandatory challenges. Uh, these fighters who are hungry and they come to rip this world title from me. Um, so it's important that I don't look too far ahead. You know, we've, we've had massive talk of the unification fights, but we've got to deal with, with this guy. And um, he's a good fighter and I've prepared for that. So when I, when I prepared mentally, 100% and physically ready, there's no way can this guy beat me. You know, I'll make sure of that. And on, on Saturday night, I'm going to perform. I'm going to take this guy out, and we're going to move on to, to bigger and better things. We know how hard you work in the gym, that, that, that's obvious. Um, but given this guy has come to steal the belt from you, if you like, in, in, in your own country, have you had an extra um, an extra special camp because you know that he is serious about this fight. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's added spice to this fight because I know this guy is confident, he's hungry, and he'll do anything to, to take this belt. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, and I've, I've mentally prepared myself for that. That, you know, something I've worked long and hard for all my life, and, and this guy wants to take it from me. So. It's something that I can't allow to happen, and to do that requires good preparation, good solid preparation, and I've done that. And like I said, when, I, when I've done that, there's no way can this guy beat me, no way.